Here we go. On the left hand side is the score of our new uh, Layers 2, which looks like this. On the right hand side is our composite animated pitch wheel, which looks like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Vision and Sound Part 31, Emulsify, Clarity, Priority, Layers. In this episode, we entered by reflecting that painting and physical metaphors in music offer ideas and new reflections. Uh, in particular, the music that we showed is using what we call layers. Layers. Uh, we have a cadence layer, a backbone layer, arpeggio layer, and an annotation layer. But what's actually playing is the backbone MF and the arpeggio MP. And as we go through the piece, sometimes the, the backbone fades out, fades in. In fact, we did a second version of this where we did an awful lot of that. But we want, in visual painting, you often have a foreground and a background, and the foreground covers up. You can't see the background. So you have to be very careful to m leave space in the foreground so that the background can be seen. In music, there's a similar effect where you, you don't want to bury one line of music with the other one spewing all over it. The trick is, how do you alternate what you can hear? There is no such thing as one line of music making the other line of music inaudible. You actually have to manually uh, turn the dynamic down, which we did. We did a bunch of that. Anyway, we had a lot of fun with that. Um, in the Layers series, which is what this is, Layers 2, um, these arpeggios have been selected to support the backbone. So um, our system at the moment is there's a cadence, which is a bunch of chords that play and determine the overall piece. For example, but we don't play those. What we do is we play a backbone and a arpeggio. Now it's the same energy. The cadence is the musical energy of da, 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 da. Uh, but instead of hitting all the notes at once, we're hitting one note called the backbone, which comes out of the back uh, the cadence, and then four, which is all four of the chord spread out in time, kind of horizontal harmony. So, um, but in deciding should the arpeggio go down or should the arpeggio go up, we used where the backbone was going. So when the backbone was going to same, play the same note two in a row, we went down and up. But if the note was going to go down like this, we went da 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 And similarly, if it goes up. Anyway, we're going to play the whole thing for you in a minute. Uh, our other reflections are our autumn bookings have begun. Things are getting busy again. That's why we use the word clarity and priority in the overall theme for this episode. Um, and one of our upcoming projects is to experiment with 3D avatar dance animation synced with our music. So that'll be fun. Um, our main results are we made the shift to score. And uh, why did I call that shift two? And we relabeled shift two as layers one. That's what happened. And so uh, we have the backbone, arpeggio, then we had a variation on that, and then we animated the one that we liked, which is the first one. So what we're going to do is play, uh, we all, so this is the other animation we did. This is the pitch wheel, which looks like this. So the main thing to highlight about that, of course, is that just like the other pitch wheel did in the last episode, there are five dark pie wedges that never get lit up. They're not labeled. And so the pitch wheel 
is showing the underlying structure of our cadences. So we, you could say we have backbone, arpeggio, cadence, and then the, the scale hidden in the background, which is where everything is built on top of it. So what we're going to do for you is we will play the magic animation, because this one is kind of neat. It alternates scenes and things. And we end up posting these on our YouTube channel in the entirety without comment. So he here you go. Layers to magic animation featuring the backbone and arpeggio. So that concludes today's episode. What we like about this animation is having the alternating scenes. And also, as we look at it, um, you can see this is layers looking top down. And because they're transparent, uh, the blue is not hiding the yellow, nor is the yellow hiding the blue. Instead, together, they're kind of making a faint green. And then when you look at the, uh, where's the one? Here, we're kind of looking at the layers from the side where you can see one quote unquote is on top of the other, but uh, the, the visual metaphor fails in a sense. Uh, it, uh, the music is saying things that the visuals of it are kind of not reflecting accurately. So that's part of what fascinates us with speaking musically, which is kind of the meta theme of this series. So our ideas for next time are to uh, continue working with the layer series um, and to be determined. We've got some new projects coming up and we still have tools that we've used in previous episodes that can be used in upcoming episodes. Shout outs to Silent Lurker and Mr. Spass and Spirit and Matter joined us today. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.